Okay. Uh, Hurricane started out as a, a, a real fun rhythm track on the viola because we just had a viola on layaway and uh, finally bought the viola, so now we were able to play the viola. Um, and uh, played with Carrie and Slider. A lot of folks know Carrie and Slider from the Weary Boys. They also did some work with Black Joe Lewis, awesome musicians, uh, double bass, bass player, and drummer. Singer, multi instrumentalist guys, awesome guys. And they did some wicked rhythm to it. And uh, speaking about kids, I guess. I guess that first track is about how cool kids are, but with a little bit of a punch, and then with moms and dads running. You know, and it's just a good, uh, it's a good uh, a blend. It's a violin, viola, double bass, and a drum. And that's cool. We never recorded a track like that. So that's Hurricane. Songs we used to sing. Songs we used to sing. Uh, um, songs we used to sing is a cool. I think is a cool like universal song. For something about it, feels like a good chorus song. Um, and we originally recorded it just on uh, a, a video uh, format uh, on the Red Chair Recordings out in Phoenix, Arizona, just on the violin. And we knew we wanted to build with it, and we worked with this phenomenal band, one of my favorite bands in Texas, East Cameron Folklore, and uh, Jesse, Eric, and Aaron. Uh, drum, bass, and rhythm guitar, and some lead guitar, and harmonies. Um, did some beautiful work with it. Kyle did an awesome job. Kyle, who works with Saving Country Music, is a, person, a good friend of ours. Um, helped out with so much production of this song. Um, and it totally turned into a really wicked song. So I like Back Down Here on Earth. Uh, this, the special thing about Back Down Here on Earth is um, the, the awesome appearance of Lloyd Maines. Um, and a uh, phenomenal pedal steel player, phenomenal musician, a Texas Hall of Famer. Um, had a caliber that you could only like, wow, are you kidding me? Yeah, he went okay. And uh, Keith, uh, Keith, the uh, founder, uh, the head uh, lead for Hillgrass Blue Billy Records, uh, wanted to explore that as an option. And, Mr. Mains was so awesome to, gra to grace us with his uh, pedal steel plan. Um, and, uh, and he said he liked the tracks that he did, which is really wicked cool. Uh, so that, that what, it, what it's turned into is a great um, solo riff by Le Lloyd. Uh, and then the song is uh, just a simple song about, um, whoa, about uh, the ups and the downs, I guess. Yeah, back down here on Earth. Let me ride among your feet, but you're much too love, fast. Love heavy, to uh, heavy uh, a, a good, um, heavy just felt like a good gut song. Uh, some of the words were made up in the take because we were trying different takes at Chris's studio, Chris Burton's studio. And I, th I think that was like the fifth or sixth take. And the only, the only um, grounded piece of that was like not in the east, not in the west, so that structure. And um, the song was kind of on the fly, but it really caught a good emotion. Yeah. I really caught a good emotion. I thought we did a good job getting the emotion, um, and it was a good rhythm. What is the emotion for that uh, one particularly? Uh, grieving. Ah, man. I guess gr like collective, kind of grieving, but you want it to be hopeful. Like you don't want it to be completely low. You know, you, that's not ever the intent. You want it to be hopeful. That's the intent of it. To be hopeful. No sleep, no money, no money, have I none? Working in the rain and the sun You got to love the family, feed the family, hold the family, love the family Blue collar, white collar, no collar, one and all Well, we are trying
try to carry on But sometimes we hang our head down and cry Cause oh, this life can get heavy To, back to one. <laughs> Dragons is a good, just a, a good, uh, a good little blues boogie woogie. Um, Dragons can be whatever you want it to be. Um, so it's got a lot of cool different references. Walter Daniels on the harp was real cool. Walter and I go back to the days of Shake Your Ass Records out of Gorgonzola, Italy, uh, when Walter played some harp on uh, uh, Black Joe Lewis's uh, one of his first albums, the Shake Your Ass Records. And so Walter and I go way back. Uh, and he's a, a, an awesome fella and a, a Texas Hall of Famer harpist, great harpist. And so he laid some good boogie woogie harp on it. And um, there's a real cool break in the song where my old high school friend, just a dear friend, Crystal Jones, still down in Lee County, Lehigh Acres, Florida, wrote this uh, stanza, uh, Forgive me if I leave you before I'm left behind. I've remained within your shadows, left me cold and blind. Here there is no place for us. I'm not meant to be alone. I built your dreams to set me free so I can build my own. She wrote, you know, she wrote that. And I hollered, I was like, hey, can I use some of that stanza in that little breakdown? She was like, yeah. So uh, that was cool. She's an old high school friend, so it's fun to be collective with uh, friends. Yeah, awesome. that's Dragons. I am the lone scarecrow. We're about to be burned. Oh, baby, all those dragons. all the time go uh, just messing around with different melodies on the semi hollow more of an electric sound um, I think that's a parent song I think every parent starts feeling that way you're like what in the hell and uh, your time is more is measured more by your children's age than anything I think and um, it is one of those whoop whoop like where does all the time go um, but it's also kind of a there's a cool love song in there and and there's some cool phrasing um, they don't know your heart, they don't know where it's been, they don't know all the shit you've done. When the lights go out, you set fire to my bed and burst out of my chest and run. And I think that's a great, I think that's a great run. And it's done kind of melodically on the semi. Um, so I like, I like uh, that song a lot. We're just all, it's a different type of song for us. We're just all the time. Yep. Alright, There Will Be Nights When I'm Lonely, um, we uh, had like an, a, a little violin solo that came about at Chris Burns' studio and uh, we had about like four or five different tracks of it and this was a good track that we wanted to keep and we kind of pieced it together and it, it was a nice solo that we didn't want to lose. It adds almost like a mid-break in the album. Um, I hope that's good. And then it goes right into the song, There Will Be Nights When I'm Lonely on fiddle. And some of this, I think the songs that we do that are just fiddle and a little bit of foot stomp and sing is kind of unique in its own sound. And um, there will be nights when I'm lonely. I think uh, has more to do on how busy your life gets, I suppose, how busy everything can get, and you catch yourselves in those moments feeling like, man, man, you know, like you feel a little I'm lonely, or like you you realize how spread apart your friendships are or whatnot, or how busy life can be. But it's also a love song. It's also like a, a love song of longing um, and uh, of wanting. And you persevere. There will be nights when I'm lonely. Okay, so first off, the song, uh, 
We went back and forth, forth with different names for the song El Diablo, Soy Moriendo. And then when I broke down the, the, what I thought was the appropriate translation of what I was trying to say in my very poor Spanish, I said it grammatically wrong. So the song within Spanish is grammatically wrong. So if you're fluent in Spanish and you listen to the song, you're like, what is he trying to say? It doesn't make any, you know, I mean, it makes sense, but it's very broken. And, but the way we sing it is like, Yo moriendo porque yo trabajando del hombre. Herrera, 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 diablo. No más, no más, no más. So, it's meant to say I'm dying because I'm working for the man all my life. But I don't really say that in terribly well. So, so how do the Spanish-speaking people understand it? I think it's, it sounds more like, dying I'm my life. <laughs> Something like that. And it's cool because all my Spanish-speaking friends are like, it's all good. They say, like, you're a widow, you're a white boy. So, at least you're trying. So, but, um... You know, living in Central Texas and growing up in Southwest Florida, the the cultures that we're uh, that we've been lucky enough to um, be a part of are very Caribbean and Central American and Mexican and um, uh, Cuban and uh, Haitian and Native American. You know, those are really dynamic cultures to be a part of, and it's a part of what our our style of music is. It's meant to be it's meant to be roots and folk with a funk to it, um, but encompassing more than just one culture and we've been fortunate in Europe that way it, like it, it's it feels kind of universal which is cool we've been lucky that way <laughs> sorry I had, I had to explain that though <laughs> That's so cool that they can do that. All right, 38-year-old cocktail waitress. 38-year-old year old cocktail waitress is it's a songwriter song. Like I, I still like to write songs like that. That would probably be more in the songwriters category or even country category. Um, but uh, it speaks just from experiences of uh, painted ladies uh, on uh, trains and too much drink in the viewing car, you know, and. Uh, Good stories and casinos and things like that. It's a colorful no, song. Let, let's do that right, though. Let's do that right. No, yeah, with 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 38 year old cocktail waitress, it's all of that, but even more so. Once again, Lloyd Maines is playing pedal steel on the uh, on the track, and he adds uh, no, just another level to what the song is. It, without the pedal steel, it's just a oh, it's the guy just singing a, a, a song. With the pedal steel, it opens it up to another level because of his his playing ability. So that. No, that's perfect. That's a perfect reference right there. She lets her head down, or she's smiling. Why is she smiling? Oh, it should have been. Baby, oh, it could have been. Yeah. She takes her angry and she takes them down. Oh, lots of trouble just to have some fun. Well, she's my. Alright, 40 days, 40 nights. 40 days and 40 nights is an old song that we've played in a lot of different ways, but we did this in a slow version and we did some real minimal violin, not so much as fiddle, but more violin style on the back end, and, I, and that version is, is so full. I like that a lot. Some people don't like it so much, and I understand why, but I, I like it a lot. It, it has another element to the album. Um, it's, it's not about one thing, it's more about um, just uh, what happens when, when people forget about you. And what can happen when um, what you thought was there for a good backup or a helping hand just falls to pieces. And um, it, it uses the color of a flood, you know. So for 40 days, 40 nights, all it did was rain. And um, there's some cool phrasing there, like, Jesus Christ and heaven's saints arrived on bedroom doors, saving all the crying children and those lonely, lonely whores. You know, like there's some good color, and the and the and the uh, the phrasing is nice how it is with the banjo. So 40 days and 40 nights. 40 days, 40 nights. 
A flood, a flood, a flood, a flood outside my door again Water, water everywhere but not a drop to drink Well, my baby's lips were thirsty, tell me what am I to think? <laughs> um, sweep a better life. Sweep a better life, once again, uh, is, is a kind of a theme, I think, to the album. We even talked about uh, possibly um, naming the album Sweep a Better Life. And that, to, to, to me, that's one of our better written songs for this album. And, it, and it, it captures people. And the addition to Carrie and Slider, once again, Carrie and Slider, just a, such a great, tight, creative, great communication, um, rhythm. Uh, percussion and double bass and bass guitar and Kerry can throw down fiddle if he needs to and sing, do even a little organ. I mean, they're both really talented musicians. Used to play with the Weary Boys, did a little work with Black Joe Lewis. So they worked with us for Feed the Family and they came back to help us with this and they added a great rhythm to it. It added another level to the song. Um, and there's a great reference, I think, to once again, it, when you become a parent, it does encompass a lot of your, your ways of expressing yourself. And the song definitely has an element of being a parent at the end, and I like that. It's representative of what's going on right now. But um, sweep a better life, yeah. I call this such an amazing, amazing life we're all living. It'll beat you down, but somehow it's so forgiving. What's so forgiving? Sometimes sweet. This is my favorite song. To me, this is my favorite song. I don't think everyone agrees, but I love this is my favorite. This is my favorite song. Pills beneath, pills beneath her pillow. I love that song. It's my favorite song. There's laughing at me because the slider. Once again, the the, the bass player um, does this great simple little walk down, and it's just this walk down on the bass and the simple minor progressions on the guitar. And we're singing in a style that we like to sing. That's much more, um, much more kind of a smooth approach to it. Almost like a, there's almost like a jazz undertone into it. So you could dance to it. You could slow dance to it, which is nice. And it's uh, has good color. It's a, it feels like a solid, solid written song. Um, and it's it's a common topic, uh, love and the battle of love. You know? But it's, it's a good yeah. Pills beneath my pillow. Beneath her pillow is my favorite song. Everyone always searching for love Everyone always fighting for love Everyone always killing for love Oh, and baby, oh, I'm dying tonight Oh, baby, oh, I'm dying, that's right Boy, walk 